Okay, guys, so still uh, talking about the outcome of uh, the just concluded the February 25 election. During an interview with Arise Television, uh, just as you have seen on your screen, what I'll do if Tinebu invites me to his government? I mean, I don't know how to describe Peter Obi like seriously, but whenever Peter Obi speak, you see the truth, the passion of Peter Obi wanting to make Nigeria a better place, not for himself, not for his family. This is a man that is worth millions of dollars. This is a man that have houses as in that have house even outside the country. This is a man that his generation will not suffer for the rest of their life. But what Peter Obi came for was to serve Nigerians. Whenever he speaks, you see that in his eyes. Okay, let me allow you to listen to the video. What Peter Obi says he will do if uh, Tinibu invites him to his government. Of course, yes, all of them, they need Peter Obi uh, manifesto like. They need Peter Obi expertise. That is just the truth. So eventually they may decide to call Peter Obi, hey, come, try and work for us. This is it, this is that, but let us listen to what Peter Obi have to say here. I know that this, uh, the president-elect and his team, they've said that they, they want to run, uh, what's that word now? Government. government of national unity. What is it that you're willing to do? Because a lot of jump, lots of people look up to you, Nigerians. They also want a better country. What would you be willing to do if you're called upon? Chamberlain, the first thing I want to see is that the process is right. The process through which you achieve anything is far more fundamental than what you do thereafter. I can't come into channel now where somebody has worked hard, all of you, build a team, work hard, and take it over, and then say, I'll run it better, increase your salaries, start doing things better than Chief Momo would do, and you say, that's right, but I'm not, I didn't work hard for it. Let us go back first. I'm challenging the process and the declaration. Until we get it right, then we can talk about government of national unity. Otherwise, we will go and sit down and say that the people who stop the train and kidnap people I also can call or invite us to discuss about peace and this when they have been people in captive. So you're not well, going to talk collaboration. No. Let's do things right. Okay. That's where we start. Until things are done rightly, you cannot, you can't just go. We're encouraging what we don't need to encourage. We know you have a busy schedule, uh, yeah. as usual, and we, we need to let you go. 